Okay, this is a Knight 690 signal tracer. Has a tuning up, has a eye tube, a 65 eye tube. Sensitivity settings that go from times one to times a thousand and noise. I'm not sure what that means. I'll have to read the manual on that. Gain. Speaker on off. So you can turn the speaker on and off. And I guess just look at the eye tube if you're trying not to annoy the tech sitting next to you working on at the bench. This watch meter is kind of interesting. You can plug a device into that. Set this to that slide switch right here. The watt meter and then you adjust this pot so if you have like a, a device that takes 100, 100 watts like that you adjust it to the eye tube null or close just closes out and you can uh, get a reading I think I just turned it on there we go right now I've got it hooked up to a Got hooked up to this probe. It actually comes from a different piece of test equipment, but it's still a, basically just a diode in there, and you use this for probing around RF, and it filters out the RF. Uh, ground clip, and I was going to demonstrate it by just hooking it up to a, a radio, and you can see how it works. So. Be right back with that. But anyway, I wanted to show you the that side. Oops, sorry about that. Here's the uh, pulled the case off. I did a quick look at it just to make sure there was nothing visually wrong. A quick visual inspection looked good. I did a power up. I tested some of the capacitors on the bottom. They were all in good shape. Those are all plastic caps, plastic case caps, they were all good. Filter cap checked out okay, so I went ahead and did a power up and it looks good. So let me, uh, let me demonstrate a little bit of what you can do with it. Okay, what I've got here is I've got the, deep pro the, uh, the signal tracer hooked up. I've got the gain set at times a thousand. I've just got it hooked up to this this little homebrew radio I had a long time ago, just to demonstrate how I can how you could uh, trace a signal out. I just have it hooked right across the uh, the coil and capacitor that's part of the tuning circuit of this, and I'm just going to I mean it'll it will detect even with no power applied to the set. You could start right here and start tracing the signal through. But as an example, I'll go ahead and turn the gain up and. Remember, this, this set's not plugged in, it's just using the tank circuit formed by this variable capacitor and that, that coil. That's one eight hundred nine six four. So you can tune across the broadcast band. Different channels just like that. So anyway, and then what you would do is, if you were trying to trouble circuit, you could trace it through the circuit here. Um, I'd be very careful doing it on a set like this because there's no power transformer. And, and get in all that, but it's just to demonstrate how it works. I had it hooked up to a little loop antenna earlier, the capacitor it worked very quite well, but it's kind of unwieldy to show it with that big loop antenna. It's the one I used on the VTVM, the same deal where I used the VTM and I was demonstrating um, how it could show how the VTVM could, de could detect uh, and pick the signal. Uh, just a quick show of how this high speed works. Friday night, July 3rd. Yeah, there you go. See what happened. I turned the volume down quick. You can
can also turn the speaker off and I'll turn it back up so now you can see the signal actually going through the just the eye tube so if you were doing some signal tracing and you didn't want to have your ears explode you can always do this I suppose I'm I haven't read the manual, see how it's used, but I know the I2 was also used for, uh, like I said, for the determining the watts. You just plug a device in there and run it and see how many watts it uses. I'll go ahead and do a quick demo on that. I don't know how this is going to work out, but anyway, uh, let me disconnect the signal tracer part. Switch this over to watt meter. This switch is a little bit dirty. Okay, now that's fully open. As an example, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this whole radio into the socket. Type of it in there for some reason. It just does not want to go in. Let me just force the issue. Things kind of a tight fit. This plug's a little bit jacked up. There we go. Now it's in. All right, I got it plugged in. I'm going to turn the watt meter with off. All right, let's see if this thing's pulling any juice. On Twitter, MR Bobby Bones, five energy has vitamins and nutrients plus caffeine. Right, let's see now. The problem with this is I don't think that radio is used very no much. Sugar, and get more fat this thing doesn't calibrate down that low, but we'll see if it can make it work. My LeBron I'm love hate. It's dad. I'm dizzy. Just from turning back and forth, back and forth. I love him again. You love him. I again. love him again. I'm gonna turn it. Here we go. I'll just turn this now until I can see that eye to close. You see, as I'm adjusting this pot. The eye tube is closing down and right closes and right there. I this says 25 watts. Now, what I'll do is I'll try hooking up the light to it. I think this light that's in this lamp is a 100 watt light. But we'll see. I'll plug it in anyway. And find out. So I'll unplug this. Turn this thing off. Plug this thing. Let me plug this light in. Oh God! I probably plug a port of color in there. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to plug it in. Take it back. Got a polarized plug. That's not gonna work. Fixing to figure out how many watts of port color pulls. I don't think it's, oh, it's polarized too. Oh well, I guess we're just not going to be able to use this today. Anyway, <laughs> that's how it works. Unfortunately, since that plug is not polarized, a lot of stuff won't work with it. But anyway, that's how it works. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, well, I figured I'd just do a quick addendum to my. I found a lamp and I checked that's a 100 watt light bulb in it. My tube is fully closed. I'm going to write. And there you can see it's starting to open. I'm going to turn it until it just fully closes, right about there. And I'm going to click right. You can't really see it on the screen, right? There, it's fully closed. And as you can see, we're pointing right at the 100 watt division, which is right there. And that's how that works. So, anyway, again, I don't know what function 
this would form, you know, than if you were just trying to see if something was partially shorted or something like that, it was pulling more watts than you expected it to, I guess. But that's how the watt meter works. I'll put it back on the signal trace. Plug this thing in. And we're back to no speakers off. Turn speaker on. It's actually picking up a little bit of a radio signal just because the, the radio signals are so strong. If I 